joins us now. It's good to see you again. What was your reaction when you heard that he had finally named a CEO for Twitter? Well, I think it's unquestionably good news, Scott, um, for Tesla shareholders. Uh, this stock is off about 40 bucks since the beginning of April on all the concerns that you mentioned. Um, and I, I just think it's, it's, it gives the opportunity for people to reassess Tesla, uh, to say he's gonna, obviously going to have more time to focus, uh, not as distracted from Twitter. And the, the great thing that Tesla has going for it uh, is it's, it's, you know, we can, we can talk about gross margins and what they will be for the year, but the number of deliveries this year are going to be significantly higher than last year. And if we've learned anything this week, especially with the Disney results and Disney Plus, growth is better than shrinkage. And so Tesla has major growth behind it. I think investors will look, look at that again now and see that the shares do look attractive between now and the end of the year. Sure, but I mean, you, you obviously have to care about margins. You have to care about the number of times they're willing to cut prices to spur demand, no? Uh, I think for Tesla, there's really two, two battles uh, where it's, you know, it's waging war. One is in China, and one is the rest of the world. In China, it, they're in a dogfight. Uh, there's no question. And so uh, you, can, you can make the case that you know, the, those pricing cuts are coming from like, having to keep up with, with, uh, you know, with, with the competition over there. On the other hand, though, you know, look at Li Auto's results this week. China is, is a growing market. It's a booming market for EVs. So um, you know, they, they, they should make money in China. The rest of the world, though, Tesla's really the, you know, in, the, in the catbird seat. And so I don't think that the price cuts are coming from weakness, but, but rather strength. And they still have a lot of, you know, a lot of um, profit margin to kind of work with uh, when making those cuts. And it puts others like GMs and Fords of the world, you know, in a, in a much more difficult place to compete with them. What do you make of the market reaction here? Obviously, when the news broke, and we did it yesterday in Closing Bell, um, the stock had popped, and perhaps for obvious reasons. And then it was up slightly again this morning, and then it's given it all back. What, what, do, you, what do you think's up with that? I, I mean, I just put it down to the, you know, the Nasdaq's down today. Um, you know, Tesla, by, you know, compared to a lot of names today, is actually outperforming. Uh, I think it's still a good news is good news story. Um, you know, let's see how it does, the, you know, next week, into next week. But I do think that this is definitely positive news. You know, some people are saying, oh, you know, he's, he's not going to be able to give up controls. He's going to be in the hair of the, the, the new CEO. But I would point to Gwen Shotwell at uh, SpaceX, who really, you know, really runs SpaceX there as president and COO. Um, Elon's involved in SpaceX, obviously, but he sort of lets Gwen kind of run the show. Uh, so there's I, I don't I don't see any reason why that won't happen here at Twitter, too.